yeah i'm like oh god oh oh my god to this video make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified exactly when i upload and comment down below and now let's get into the video okay guys today's shout out is going to be going to logan white uh, he subscribed to the channel and turned on notifications. He's been a big supporter recently, and this is his channel. Currently, has three subscribers, and he uploads Fortnite. So let's see what he's got. Hey, nice shot, Logan. Okay, guys, go support his channel now. Let's hop into the video. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna be doing a unboxing and first impressions of the new mobile G1. Let's hop right into it. Okay guys, before this video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to New Mobile, who is uh, kind enough to send me over a review unit, a review unit of this device. Um, so thank you, New Mobile. And if you guys are interested in picking one of these up, I'm going to link them down in the description below. Go follow them on Instagram. Go uh, support New Mobile. Um, I think they do a lot of good work and sell a lot of really good products. So now let's hop into the video. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of it. I got some scissors here, and we're gonna um, take a look at this bad boy. Always cut away from yourself, guys. Just a quick tip. Don't wanna be uh, hurting yourself in any way. So let's just get this plastic taken care of. And we'll get this thing out of the box. Um, if you guys are interested, this is sold on Amazon. New Mobile sells most of their devices on Amazon as well as their store. Um, they have their own website. And this go this retails for $100 US. And this is the New Mobile G1. Um, it comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I've got all the specs here on the inside. Actually, yeah, all the specs will be on the inside um, on the phone, I believe. So. It's got a huge battery, uh, that's one of the main selling points here, and for only $100, this phone, I think, could last you around two to three days, honestly, with mild usage. So, that's a huge selling point for this, guys. Um, definitely go check this thing out, this is a great budget option, and if you're interested, I'm going to do a separate, full in-depth review um, once I actually use this device for a couple days, so I'll let you know my final thoughts then. This is just a first unboxing and first impressions video. So this isn't my final review, this is just first impressions of this, so let's hop right into it. I like the box, I like the cool colors here. Um, we got G1, we got New Mobile's logo, G1 again, New Mobile, and all this information. So yeah, here are some of the specs. Let me just zoom in on that if you guys can't see it. We got 5.7 inch HD plus IPS display. We got 1.28 gigahertz quad core CPU. Uh, rear camera that's eight megapixels, a front facing camera that's five megapixels. You have a dual SIM. Um, you have one gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigs of onboard storage and a 5,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Okay, so that's a mouthful. Okay, so let me just open this bad boy up. I think Apple does this thing where it's like it takes a certain amount of time to open every box. It's a little more tricky. There we go. So I'm gonna tux, toss the box aside. Um, yeah, here's the device sitting on top. I could just get this out. This is actually the first smartphone review I've ever done, guys. So if any companies watching this and want me to uh, do a review of their product, just let me know. I love doing smartphone reviews. So yeah. So here's the device. I'm going to toss that to the side and check out what else comes in the box itself. Okay, so we got some paperwork here. Thank you for choosing new mobile and i'm guessing this is the spanish one just for spanish users out there just toss that aside and it has other social media here so guys make sure to go check out new mobile on all these different platforms great company go check them out and they have their own website okay so next i'm gonna lift this up and see what else is in the box 
Oh, okay. So here, I actually saw this online of another person reviewing this device. This actually comes with a free case. I don't know why more companies don't do this. But this is just like a, just a simple um, um, plastic case, very flexible. Yeah, I don't know why companies don't do this. It's like, just include a case in the box. Apple, looking at you. Include a case. It's so useful. I think this is for the speaker cutout, uh, buttons, fingerprint scanner cutout right here, and a camera cutout. So awesome. Definitely going to use this. Toss that aside. See what else we got. And they also include a free screen protector. I don't know why more companies don't include this. It's so annoying when you get a new smartphone. Um, it's brand new and you don't have a screen protector or case to go along with it and you have to go buy that separately. That's just a stupid expense. Thank you, New Mobile, for actually including it in the box. Appreciate that. That's attention to detail right there. Other phone companies take note to us that side. And here we have our manual for those who don't know how to use a smartphone. Get started with your G1. So here's just an overview, overview table of contacts contents can't speak just showing you like all the simple stuff um, I'm not gonna look at this just pretty self-explanatory how to use an Android device I've used a uh, Android device most of my life I've had a droid turbo the first one and now I currently have a LG G6 that's what I'm actually filming this video on right now um, that's actually most of my videos what they're filmed on so LG G6 does a great job with video recording if you guys care about that Okay, so let's check this out. Now, I believe this does not have USB-C, but honestly, for a budget smartphone at this price point, it doesn't really matter. I think USB-C is just as good as long, it has, as long as it has some sort of fast charging, and I think this does have a pretty powerful fast charger, uh, which can boost your s charging speeds. Um, it's way better than Apple. Honestly, Apple doesn't even include a fast charger in the box. They make you go out and buy it separately. It's stupid. So other companies take note. So you got a micro USB cable here, charge up the phone. Toss that aside. And you have the power brick right here. So here is the power brick itself. Let's focus on that. It says new mobile. What actually is, let me just check this out. Okay, so this is a five volt. I was just, it's just hard to read. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. That says five volts right there, so that's good enough. Um, thank you for New Mobile for actually having some sort of fast charging on a budget $100 phone. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna move all this aside and I'm gonna actually get the device and see if it has any juice. So here we have the device itself, G1 New Mobile. This is just the plastic it comes in. And then once you take it out of here, it's going to have all the specs listed. So I'll just run through those quickly. Um, a lot of them were already on the box as I listed, so. First impressions, this thing has some weight to it. Uh, it's definitely not a overly thin device, but at $100, you can't really complain. That's going to be a theme uh, this entire video is, guys. At 100 bucks, you can't complain. This thing has um, a lot of good features going for it and not too many compromises, so that's good. But definitely weighty in the hand. Definitely feels um, pretty premium, honestly. I feel like light phones don't feel as premium. Um, this has a pretty... Um, Textury back. I feel like you won't be dropping this. Um, this is not slippery. This is a plastic back. I believe here's the speaker Got the fingerprint sensor and the 8, me eight megapixel uh, rear-facing camera and The flash and look at that. It comes with a headphone jack Apple. What are you doing? Google? What are you doing? Uh, LG still has it Samsung still has it, but I heard rumors that they're going to be eliminating it Okay guys, so here are the uh, the main specs of the G1. This is just plastic that shows all the stuff. 5.7 inch HD plus display. It's 1440 by 720 in resolution. It's got 4G LTE. It's got fingerprint scanner. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That's the selling point of this device for only hundred bucks. One gigabyte of RAM, that's kind of small, but honestly you can't complain. Uh, and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. I would have liked to seen 32, but as I said, you can't really complain at hundred bucks and what you're getting. And you have a MediaTek 1.28 quad-core processor. Okay. 
So I don't know if this, no, oh, I'm sorry. I was like, is that a screen protector? And I'm like, nope, that's just the plastic. That would've been cool if they actually included two screen protectors. I've never seen a company do that, but. So let's just peel that off. Toss that to the side. And guys, honestly, this looks a lot like my phone. If I'm gonna be honest with you with the forehead and chin similar, um, this, I think this is going for a slim bezel-less design. And honestly, for a hundred bucks, you're getting a nice design here. Um, so on the side, you have your volume rocker as well as your power button and already getting fingerprints on it, but that's to be expected. Um, I got the gray color here. It's pretty cool speaker on the back. And yeah, let's boot this up. See if it has any juice. Oh, and we do. We got new powered by Android Go Edition. If you guys didn't know, this is Android Go Edition. Um, it's basically a dumbed down Android Oreo version uh, to help the processor not have to process as much uh, data and stuff and pretty, and uh, yeah. Ooh, cool animation. Okay, first off, I can definitely say that this screen is actually really nice for an HD plus display. Like mine's a 1440p display. And honestly, this is pretty nice. Oh my God, I'm actually really impressed. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna hit English. It's vision settings, I don't know. Hit start. Connect to your mobile. If you have a SIM card, insert them now. I don't have a um, SIM card. Let's skip that. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm gonna type in my Wi-Fi here and then get back to you guys. I guess I just typed in my my uh, Wi-Fi password and it's now checking for updates. This may take a minute or two, okay. I'm gonna cut back uh, when these updates actually finish. Okay, so we have two options here. We can copy your data. data. Can't speak in this video. Um, we can transfer apps, photos, blah, blah, blah. Choose what to copy later. I'm just gonna set up as a new phone just cause I already have my phone and um, sadly I have Verizon so I actually can't use this for talk and text. Um, so that's disappointment. Uh, so we're just gonna set up as new. If you guys are wondering, this is also running Android Oreo. 8.0 I think. I don't know if it's 8.1, I think it's 8.0. Okay, email or phone, I guess I'll do my email. Do life made easy. I can't spell. Hi, Scott. Okay, I'm just gonna type in my password real quick. Oh. Hi, Scott, blah, 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 All this Google stuff, I agree, whatever. Checking your info. Getting account info. Guys, I have to say, for HD plus display, this is insane. Unlock with a fingerprint. I am going to set up a fingerprint. Why not? Mm, let's do fingerprint plus pattern. Just do that. Okay, let's just see how this does. I heard that the Samsung Galaxy S9, you can literally um, do your finger in like one swipe. You don't have to do this, but this is just to get like all parts of your finger. Fingerprint added. When you see this icon, use your fingerprint for identification or to approve purchases. Oh, you can approve purchases with that, pretty cool. Does this have NF NFC? 
I'm not sure if this has NFC or not. I'll get back to you guys when I do a full review and let you know. Um, back up to Google Drive, Ely restored it, or, yeah, whatever. I agree. Adding finishing touches. Here we go, guys. And here we are in. Okay. So we got like sort of like a squarish icon. Um, what's the term for it? It's, uh... Okay, it's a, yeah, it's called a different Android launcher. That's it. Couldn't think of a name, but yeah, guys, this thing gets in. I mean, the brightness is like pretty high. Um, but yeah, guys, this thing gets insanely bright. Let me just max out the brightness just so you guys can see this even better. This thing gets insanely bright. Honestly, I think this gets brighter than my phone. <laughs> um, LCDs usually can get really bright and do okay in um, in direct sunlight. So um, yeah, let's just uh, take a quick look through, through the interface. It's going to be installing all these apps. I know that. Okay, so we do have an app drawer on here. This is running like basically a stock Android-ish um, launcher. Uh, just it's kind of like a dumbed down version of Android, just so it's not putting as much pressure on the processor as I think it was. What was it? Let's get this over. Here. It was a 1.28 gigahertz quad core processor. So yeah, the processor isn't the best, so it's like using a um, dumbed down version just so it can. Uh, so it can do a little better in performance wise. So here we have a Google folder. We got Google Go, YouTube, Gmail, Assistant, and Maps Go. And I'm curious, does this actually have Google Assistant? Oh my God, it does. <laughs> Sign to make your Google Assistant. Wow, that was loud. allow that hi Scott I'm your assistant here to help you throughout your day here are some things you can try saying to get started let's open YouTube opening YouTube so this does have a 5 point inch um, HD plus display so I want to see how the speakers are as well as uh, the overall YouTube experience because I'm a big YouTube watcher and I want to see if this thing is good for consuming media I have an LG G6 which is the same screen size as this um, so I can I have a pretty good um, I have a lot of experience with uh, YouTube consumption over the years okay we'll just update this and I'll cut back when it finishes updating Okay guys, so I'm currently on the YouTube app and I was just scrolling through to see like overall fluidity on YouTube and it seems to be pretty fluid. Um, so I'm just gonna take a look at one of my videos and actually one of my favorite videos that I've uploaded. If you guys wanna go check this out, make sure to do so. Uh, where is it? It's this one. And let's just see how the speakers are. This does have that. This does have the 18 by nine aspect ratio, if you guys are uh, curious. So we can zoom in. Here's a speaker. It's pretty big, actually. Even though it's on the back. And like, I get it. Like that's a downside having it on the back. But once again, for a hundred bucks, like you can't complain. Most phones at this price point um, will either have the speaker on the back or a downward firing speaker. So most high, only the high flagships will usually have like stereo front facing speakers, but. Whatever. Let me just, I just want to hear the music of this video.
Okay, so I'd say overall, um, clarity-wise, it's okay. It's not you're not gonna be blown away by the clarity. That's out of ten, I'd probably give clarity like a six, and for overall loudness, I'd probably give it like a seven. It does get decently loud. So I'd say for YouTube consumption, this is a great buy just because it has that 18 by nine aspect ratio. Um, it gets really bright, and yeah, I think just bigger screens tend to be good for consumption and speaker is okay so you can't really complain here honestly if you guys just want to hear a little more okay so done with that and now i'm just going to do a quick fingerprint test just so you guys know the overall speed um that this unlocks so lock it fingers on You know, I have to say, oh, it missed me that time. This is pretty fast for a hundred dollar smartphone. Yeah, I'd say a fingerprint scanner is definitely a plus. Uh, it's pretty quick. Um, not the fastest out there, but once again, hundred bucks. You can't complain at this price point. Um, now I'm gonna jump into a quick camera test to see how that does. Okay, so here is the photo I just took. I'll probably um, put it on screen for you guys so you can, so you can actually see like the full detail. Um, I'd say that the biggest compromise here is probably going to be the pixels in this because if you zoom in, you can see that's a little blurry right there. Um, it does have HDR, which is actually surprising. You wouldn't think that like um, a phone at this price point would have HDR, but uh, it's a little overexposed, but honestly, I think it would get the job done. Eight megapixels is plenty. And if you guys just are wondering, the iPhone 6 and 6S, or maybe just the 6 had an eight megapixel camera. And just so you guys know, pixels don't always tell the full story, but I think this will do just fine. Now, let me check out a quick uh, front facing camera photo. Okay, so here's a photo I was able to the capture with the front facing camera and i have to say this is pretty impressive like my lg g6 also has a five megapixel camera and i would i would argue that these are close to the same just in quality i mean like look at this this has i think the front facing camera took a better picture than the rear facing camera in my opinion um i think there's more detail here honestly it's it's kind of strange but also um let me just go into where is it uh, let's check. There we go. Um, it has these modes that you can turn on. Where are they? Yeah, so under video mode, you can hit this button right here. And it'll give you like these cool like effects from all the different, uh, I don't know. Just like changes like the raw color and just like theme of it. It's just pretty cool. Um, we're gonna exit out of that. Um, so yeah, that's what like the main stuff I wanted to go over. I don't have my SIM card in here. It doesn't work on Verizon network, so I can't call or text anyone. But I say um, overall first impressions, guys. This is a solid device. Um, I would highly actually recommend this just for like what you're getting for a hundred bucks here, like. Like the battery honestly could last you like two to three days with moderate use and most smartphones out there will not give you that kind of performance and like yeah it doesn't have like the new Snapdragon 845 like processor but like remember this is a dumbed down Android Go version so it's going to speed it up um, overall I think the performance is going to be fine and remember like it's a hundred bucks like what more do you really want at this price point I'd say Overall, I'd give this like a eight and a half out of 10, um, just cause there's not too many compromises here. Yeah, it may be a little thick. It may be not the fastest processor. It may not have the best camera, but you're not looking for the best in this smartphone. You're finding the best thing for your buck. And I think this checks a lot of boxes um, that people look for when looking for a smartphone at a budget price. 
So you guys, that's going to be my first unboxing and impressions for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, go check out New Mobile. I'm going to link everything in the description, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And yeah, guys, um, hope to see you for the full review. And let's, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.